Hello, my dear students. Today we have Module 10, B, Grammar, Part 1. Open your books, students' books, I mean page 150. Today we have one main objective, which by the end of this lesson you are expected to be able to achieve. That is, to discriminate ability of using these words, both, either, all, and none. Correctly, of course. My dear students, I need you all to either read through this short story or listen to it, because you have some questions to answer soon. Here you go. Hamid, Ali and Hussein are close friends. They all go to the same school. All of them are in grade 12. I teach them all English. Hamid and Hussein always get full marks. They are both cousins. Both of them come to school by the same bus, but neither of them lives in the same place. They both go to the British Council to take English courses. In fact, neither of them have ever missed a class there. It is true, that the three boys hang out together every weekend. However, none of them like eating outdoors. They all like sitting at a cafe in Sukhwak if when they go there. All of them love tea with mint. None of them drinks it with sugar, though. As a teacher, if I need help, I often ask Ali and Hamid. Both are reliable and helpful. It doesn't matter who I ask first, I can ask either. Practically, either of the two boys does whatever you need. Either one is there, to help. Neither boy hesitates to say yes, sure, sir. That's to say, when needed, neither of them lets you down. I am really so proud to have students like them all. Pause the video now, go to the questions, and answer them. Done. Very good. First question. Which of the highlighted words have a negative meaning? Right. Neither, neither of, none, none of. Very good. Question two. Which of the highlighted words are used for only two people? Check. Excellent. Both of, neither of, either, or, either of. Great. Other questions still we have to answer? Which of them, I mean the words highlighted, are used for more than two people? Right. All, all of, none, none of. That's wonderful. Which of them is used in affirmative sentences? Very clear to find out. All of them are, all of them are used in affirmative sentences. But, but what? Let's go to the other question, the following one. But which of them cannot be used in a negative sentence, and why? These words, neither of, neither, none, none of, can never be used in negative sentences. Why? Because they cannot add a, a double negative to the same sentence. Because they are negative. They are negative words, and we can't have a double negative in the same sentence. Got it?
each of them takes only a plural verb. It's very clear, I think, isn't it? Right. All these words take a plural verb. Which of them takes only a singular verb? Yes, either one is, another of the two boys does. Very good. What else do you still have? Which of them can take either a plural verb or a singular one? Check. Neither of them drinks. Yes, either of them does or do neither of them lives very good and which of them can be followed by a determiner like these words there these my and so on none of them yes all of them very good these words can be followed by determiners Which of them goes before singular countable nouns and takes only a singular verb? Here is the answer. Check neither boy. This is a singular countable noun. Check the verb. Hesitates. It's in the singular form. Thank you. Now let's just uh, go through this lesson in detail. You can find this clearly available in your student's book. Read the examples below and complete the rules. I suppose you can do it easily now. Well, I'll just give you a couple of minutes to go through these examples. Both Jamie and Fred finished university last year, but neither of them has or have found a job yet all of her friends called her when she was in hospital but none of them visited the last couple of sentences short dialogue do you want to have spaghetti or pizza for dinner either i don't mind really okay pause the video for a while and complete the rules now. Welcome back. What about number one? Very good. Both either and neither are used for two people or two things or ideas, etc. Next. All and none are used for more than two people, as we said before, when we spoke about the three students, three things, or even three ideas. Two more questions to do concerning completing the rules. Pause the video if you like, and come back to me as quick as possible, please. Hello again. None and neither are used in affirmative sentences and give them a what meaning? Right, negative meaning. Space means one or the other. It doesn't matter which of the two. Very good. Either means so. Thank you. You are very good. It's time for a short activity, a quick one. Complete the following sentences with these words, both, neither, and either. One, pause the video, do them all. Done? Very good. Number one, Jake and Tom want to become volunteers. Two people. Very good. Both and. How many people here? Yes, two, Jake and Tom. Number two, Hassan, Noor Ahmed, 
came to school today. Why? They are probably ill. Neither Hassan nor Ahmed. Three. They can. They can both? No. They can neither? Never. They can either go swimming or play tennis. Now let's have some more details. If you follow me through the grammar section at the end of your book, you'll find how much useful it is. All. All is used for, we said it before, for more than two people or two things or two ideas. Is it used in affirmative sentence or negative ones? And what about the verb? Is it in the plural form or the singular one? Let's go through the following three sentences to check. Anna, Mary, and Kate, how many people? More than two. Are going to attend the seminar, very good. They are all very excited. They are all, all of whom? All of the three people mentioned above. So it is more than two people. What about the verb? Are, oh, it's plural. So the verb is in the plural form. What about the sentence? Affirmative or negative? Of course, the are is in the affirmative form. All of them are very excited. All of them are very excited. So, the same thing. Are is in the plural form. All of them refers to the three people, the four people, more than two people, yes. And the sentence again is affirmative. We can either say all or all of. When we say all of, of course, a determiner occurs in the sentence, is used there. All of the boys, all of the three people, all of the girls, all of the, and so on. All right? Both. Both is used for only two people. Two things, two ideas. What about the sentences? We want to find out if the sentences below are affirmative or negative. And I need to know if the verb is in the plural form of the singular one. Bill and Ted are cousins. How many persons? Two. So both is used for only two people. Both of them, ah, we can say both or both of. Both of them are. Well, the verb is are, plural, in a team, nice, negative or affirmative, of course, affirmative. Can we say both of, of course, and then it should be followed by a determiner, both of the two boys, both of them, all right, they are both in a team, in the same team, very good. So, looking at these couple of sentences, will surely help you to find out how to use both or both of, right? Again, two people, plural verb, affirmative sentence. Neither or neither. Neither is used for, for what? For two people, two things or two ideas. Is it used in affirmative sentence or negative ones? We said this before. We said that neither and none can never be used in negative sentences because there will be, of course, a double negative. It's used in affirmative sentences but gives a negative meaning. All right. When used with nouns, neither goes before singular countable nouns. Remember the sentence we had before? And it takes a singular verb. Let's go through the sentence. Now the shop sells bags. The sentence, of course, has a negative meaning. But the sentence itself is affirmative. Neither here is followed by a noun. Shop. Is it countable? Yes, one shop, two shops. So it's countable. Is it plural or singular? Shop 
it is singular so it is countable and singular what about the verb sell sells or sell tells singular form or plural one of course it is a singular verb sells all right i hope it is very much clear to you now having already known that neither is followed by a noun which is countable and singular let's go through neither of let's go through the sentence neither of the shops sells bags neither of the shop or shops shops so the noun that goes after neither of should be in the plural countable form well there is a determiner remember neither of them neither of the shops neither of the girls what about the verb sells we can say sells or sell neither of the boys go neither of the boys goes neither of the shops sells or sell bags well so i mean to say that when neither of is followed by a determiner so the noun should be in the plural form and the verb can be used either in the singular form or the plural one any difference yes as you can clearly see when the verb is used in the plural form so it is formal it is formal when the verb is used in the singular one so it looks informal Fahd and Salim want to go rock climbing but neither of them have or has tried this activity before neither of Fahd nor Salim have or has tried this activity before all right very good what about none and none of none is used in affirmative sentences of course we mentioned before that it can never be used with or in negative sentences but they give negative meaning to the sentence all right when none refers to an uncountable noun it takes a singular verb none of the soup soup yes uncountable noun was eaten by the children none of the cake none of the chocolate none of the rice was eaten by the children got it so the noun here that goes after none of or none is used in the uncountable form was we didn't say where so this means that the verb that goes there is singular right We said before that we use none and all to refer to more than two people, two ideas, two persons. Yes. Well, when none refers to plural countable nouns, it's used, of course, for more than two people, things or ideas. What about the verb? Go through the sentence to find out if the verb is singular or plural. If the sentence is negative or affirmative. None of the sandwiches were none of the sandwiches was none of the sandwiches was or were eaten by the children well is the sentence affirmative yes but it has a negative meaning because none is used there right what about the verb where or was plural or singular what about the word or the noun sandwiches it is plural and it's countable of course clear now okay all my friends love coffee but none of them like or likes tea none of them like plural verb none of them likes singular one see and of course the word friends is is what is a plural countable noun again like sandwiches right 
my dear students we said before that either is used for two people only two people two things or even two ideas and it means one or the other it doesn't matter indeed which of the two when used with nouns the noun is in the countable singular form right so either goes before singular countable nouns yes what about the verb see the sentence either dress is appropriate for the occasion very good dress is here a noun it is in the singular form and it's of course countable dress dresses one dress ten dresses what about the verb is yes it's of course singular so the verb that goes after either is always singular yes when of is used with either what happens let us see either of is used before plural count or nouns and a determiner is there either of the three either of them either of these classes either of my students or even before pronouns what about the verb the verb is still in the singular form does either of you want some ice cream all right thank you very much indeed now let's go to activity c where you have to complete the dialogues with all both neither none and either we're not going to do the whole dialogue we're only going to do this part only this part a and b pause the video read and complete right there are more than 30 employees in your department 30 employees no 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 more than 30 employees are all of them going on the company picnic this weekend see the sentence is affirmative and we said that all is used with more than three people ideas things that's it well none of us are crazy about company picnics excellent thank you you are great i'm so proud of you it's time for exercise i'm going to expose you to six sentences with four options to choose from a b c or d four extractors these are three sentences go through the first three ones read them pause the video answer and come back to me welcome back number one right both Hamad and his sister two people and was also used here two I don't like tea or coffee well tea or coffee either can we say neither of course not why because the sentence is negative and we cannot have a double negative in the same sentence right three students attended my online class except Paul except one so all of them did all of them attended my online class thank you some more sentences the rest of the activity pause the video and do the other three ones four to six I'll be waiting hello again four right i'm a bit confused whether to purchase this smartphone oh five right i invited all my old friends to my graduation party but neither khalid nor Tariq came unfortunately six right what would you like to have ice cream or coca it doesn't matter I can have either I can have either either coca or ice cream you are 
Very good. Thank you very much indeed. You can find this video available on Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. Till we meet again. See you. Bye.